Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is Navin. Welcome to UI Brains. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the important concept of bootstrap uh, that is bootstrap models. Okay, so let's see what is model and how to display a model and how to there are multiple types of models and all uh, we'll see in this video. Okay, so let's see here if you go to official bootstrap website uh, here. Uh, I have opened this bootstrap. So got documentation inside when you go to the model see here uh, this is the model concept it just pops up uh, it just pop up menu kind of uh, here see uh, there's an example when I click on a button it launches a model it's not actually the JavaScript alert it's more than that okay so a complete form you can display over here okay so this is an example a small example of model and you'll have another uh, static model and you have uh, some content specific model same like you have a, a license agreement kind of okay fine so this is the model concept so let's see how to display a registration form on the model okay so let's start uh, here the last example we have discussed the guardian let's close this and uh, go back to webstorm let me copy the starter file i'll paste it so i'll change this to 23 underscore bootstrap underscore model okay fine and let me change the navigation bootstrap model so let me go back here refresh bootstrap model yeah uh, so first of all the plan is uh, i'll make a registration model so let me click on a button okay so let me create a button first um button with the class call btn btn minus secondary uh, let's say register okay a simple button so now see you have a simple button called register uh, when i click on this model uh, the button one model all one pop-up has to be open with a complete registration form okay so how to make a model is below this you have to write a division with the class call model and you must have to give an id uh, some name uh, register minus model okay uh, now uh, this model and this button we have to make a connection same like uh, previous example we have given a connection between uh, a collapse right same like that we have a class model and id so how to give a connection is data toggle is model and data target is hash register model so thus you have to give here okay fine so this is the connection between a button and the model so let's check when i click on a register so you got some grayed out it means yes your connection is ready so let's create a model now okay so inside model you'll be having a class call model uh, dialog in that you have a class called model content uh, in the content same like a card we have model header model body and model footer so let's create a model header and another one dot model body so model header and body so let's check once and I click on this yes you got this is header part this is body parts uh, in the header uh, header I'll write BG secondary text white uh, inside I'll write a h3 something called register here okay so let's check when I click on this you got register here as a model okay and I want to make a cross symbol to close the model uh, you can do that using a button uh, you can make a class call uh, closer okay inside I want to make an icon so I tag uh, the class call fu minus fu minus times uh, circle so if you give time circle you get the cross symbol let's check once yes you got a cross symbol fine but when I click on the cross symbol the model is not getting close uh, how to close the model is a small thing data dismiss is equal to model if you give data dismiss model then your model will be collapsed okay will be hidden let's check now 
uh, when I click on this, I got a model. When I click on this, it hides. Okay, looks good. Then, uh, if you want to give an animation for this, see, it just simply open up, right? Uh, if you want to give some animation from MDB, there are some lot of animations classes available. So let me give some animation for my whole content. Uh, animated is a base class, and let's start with Jello. So Jello is an animation. So let's check once. And I click on this. See, you got a jello. Okay. Or else uh, you can give something called flip in Y. Some lot of classes. Click on this. Yes, you got a flip in Y. Okay, looks good. Uh, so here in this model body, I want to make a form. Okay, we already discussed the forms concept. So in the model body, let's write a form. Uh, inside a writer division, the class called uh, form group uh, inside I write input type text and give the class call form control. Let's make some placeholder uh, username. Okay, so let's check. I just make a username field. Yep, you got a username. And you want to give some nice background color for this card body. Uh, you can give BG light like this. Okay, if you don't want, uh, you want to give even lightest color. Uh, you can select the eye dropper and uh, let me pick up some nice lightest color. Uh, lightest color, yeah, I need this. So, copy. I'll do one thing, I'll just say light, uh, light uh, blue. I'll take okay. So I go to style tag dot bg light blue background color this one okay so this is my own class name so I will get that lightest color okay so this is the plan fine so like this I want to make multiple fields um, so this light blue so copy this and email password confirm password and some text area okay so this is gonna be the email and placeholder change to email and this is password and uh, placeholder also password and uh, this is also password uh, this is going to be the confirm password and the last one I want to make one text area so text area with the some rows some four rows give the class call form control and that's okay let's check once yes you got this and let's make some placeholder as well let's say about yourself Uh, I want to make a button for submit so I write a division input type is equal to submit and with the value goes to be register and give the class call btn uh, btn minus secondary so let's check once I got a this one fine and I want to make a close button also Close means just I want to close the model, so it's not uh, a button, just anchor tag. Uh, anchor tag, href, nothing, hash. And let me give the class call btn btn minus dark. Uh, dark. Let me give the class, uh, sorry, text call close. And when I click on a close button, I have to close the model, so uh, data dismiss model. Okay, fine. This actually submit button and this is just to close the model. Okay, fine. So let's check once. Uh, click on registration. You got registration model and like this. And you can register or else you can close the model. And you can either close the model from this button or else here. Uh, you can use any animation here. Uh, it's like uh, I have used flip in Y. You can make something called swing. Uh, any lot of classes available. So let's check swing this is swing wow looks good okay 
fine so that's it uh, another concept about the model and one last thing here is wait which uh, here there are two other classes are there if you give model dialog right here if you give model sm is there if you say model sm you get a small model see you got a very very linear very lean model okay fine uh, if you don't give anything you get a medium size model if you want to make even a larger there is a class called model lg is there if you give lg you get a large model okay fine so i don't want all this i just make only just nothing nothing will be a simple model okay so that's it so this is a concept of bootstrap model and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you